Well, welcome back. And we have welcomed back winter into our lives today. We had some of that snow. And look at these temps. We're talking daytime highs only having gotten into the upper 30s to 40s across southern West Virginia, well below average. We really should be in the 50s. We've had quite a bit of up and downs with the temperatures over the past really seven to 10 days, the second half of March. Uh, part of the second half of March, the middle of the month, we really saw temperatures above average, well into the 60s. That's warm for that point in March. And then we really went below average as we went into what looks like the uh, ending portion of March. That final weekend, last weekend, we had highs only in the 30s, 20 to 30 degrees below normal before we got back into those 70s to near 80 this week. And now we're back to winter, the end of this week. At least the winds are calming down as we head into tonight and going into tomorrow. Those winds going to be a warm southwest wind. That's going to help us warm up a little bit more tomorrow. We'll see more seasonable temperatures across southern West Virginia, so it won't be the worst of days. But then a northern stream system passes just to our north. We'll have gusts yet again out of the northwest on Sunday. So another cold wind gusting upwards of 20 to 30 miles per hour. So Saturday we get to near 60 degrees. We have nighttime lows in the upper 30s. We'll see some sun clouds more so later in the day. And then Sunday we're talking maybe a sprinkle north of 64. Uh, but those high temperatures not where we should be going to be right around 50 degrees Sunday thanks to more cloud cover. So Saturday that's the weekend winter across the area. So get out there on Saturday. Neither day the worst of uh, the worst of weekend days by any means, though. We have dry conditions at the very least out there right now. Uh, we're seeing some of those snow showers fade. We might be seeing a couple very, very light flurries that radar isn't picking up up through western Greenbrier, western Pocahontas. But those are ending. Clouds are clearing on out. And that's how it'll be tonight. Temperatures as those clouds clear, we're going to see those op that optimal uh, cooling conditions for optimal cooling. So temperatures well down into the 20s across southern West Virginia, 22 up through snowshoe tomorrow morning, 26 through the Beckley area. But by the afternoon, we're talking near 60 degrees. Wouldn't be surprised if some places do get above 60, especially through the Coalfields counties as we head into our Saturday afternoon. Tomorrow night we'll end up in the upper 30s to low 40s, 50s. By the time we hit Sunday, again, we'll stick onto a couple clouds as a system passes just to our north on Sunday. Saturday is, again, that sunny day of the weekend, so really going to be a nice spring-like day, good day for any spring cleaning. And then as we head into our Sunday morning, that system passing us to the north, bringing more more so showers and storms, uh, showers and snow, excuse me, to the northern portion of the state and north of 64. So if you're in the Richwood area uh, up through snowshoe, wouldn't be surprised to see a couple snowflakes. Oak Hill and Summersville, we're going to see a couple showers south of 64 and be surprised to see really much of anything. But we do clear on out by the end of the day. We'll actually likely see some sun by the end of the day on Sunday. And it looks like we'll be OK as we head into the end of the weekend. Next week, we warm back up again, but we'll bring the rain chances back again, of course. Janine.